Hitting the pavement on a holiday weekend to help heal. This Saturday, thousands of people are expected to participate in the 21st annual Coleman Detroit Race for the Cure. Last year, organizers say more than 40,000 people took part and they raised more than $2.3 million to fight breast cancer. And one of those walkers will return this year proudly wearing her pink Survivor t-shirt. And as Alicia Smith tells us, being diagnosed in her 20s inspired her to help others. It's like become my second home in a way, you know. I met up with Megan Malley at the Kermanis Cancer Institute's Weisberg Cancer Treatment Center, where she spent much of 2011. Last year, March 23rd, two days after my 29th birthday, I was um, found out I had a positive biopsy um, of my right breast and that it was breast cancer. A very aggressive form of breast cancer that had spread to her spine. She underwent 15 rounds of chemo at the center, followed by a double mastectomy and 28 cycles of radiation, all before the age of 30. They surround you with nature and these kind of environments to try to, I don't know, bring a smile to you, you know, you can see the sunshine, the flowers, and the animals. As a young breast cancer patient, she often felt other patients, many of them in their 50s and 60s, didn't quite understand what she was going through. My issues are very different about, you know, if I can start a family or I just started, you know, my career and I've only been married a few years and I'm, you know, some women are trying to date. And so there are issues are just very unique. You're here, I'm like, here we go. <laughs> so Megan Malley started a support group for young cancer patients with the help of oncology social worker Kathleen Hardy. I'll leave the group and an hour will go by and they're still sharing stories and laughing and and talking about all the things that they're going through. Megan Malley also gained strength from attending last year's Race for the Cure with her team, Megan Malley's Rally. Their slogan, let's beat this thing. Obviously, it's a day to celebrate as a survivor, so we encourage survivors to come out no matter what the age, whether six years like me or 20, 30, 40 years out. And even those like Megan who are still undergoing treatment. The big things are behind me and I feel wonderful. Because the race lands on a holiday, some people who registered online are going to wear their t-shirt wherever they are vacationing for Memorial Day weekend, and they're going to make donations online. And we have a link to that site for you on our website, WXYZ.com. Getting ready for Race to the Cure in Farmington Hills, Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Oh, thank you, Alicia. What a fighter Megan is. And again, the Coleman Detroit Race for the Cure is this Saturday, May 26th at Comerica Park from 7 until 11 a.m. WXYZ is a proud media partner for this 5K and one mile fun walk. We'll have a team there as well. The deadline for online registration as an individual is today, tonight at midnight, but you can also register right on site Saturday morning. 25% of all donations go to research, 75% stay here to fund local breast cancer programs. If you'd like to donate, we've got a link, as Alicia said, on WXYZ.com.